on Grilling with the Guru. What we doing, Kurt? It's our Christmas show. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to uh, pork in the lawn. We're going to butterfly, and we're going to fill it. Oh, we're going to fill gonna, it with presents, with gonna, goodies. We're going to stuff that thing till it can't take it anymore. See, they, they, and then we're going to wrap it in a, a bacon basket beautiful, weave. Beautiful. We're going to fill it with spinach, thing. mushrooms, a little bit of cheese. cream cheese, roasted pecans. Garlic, pecan, onions, outside, lime, garlic. and tigers, and bears. Oh, oh my. And yeah. on the side, we're going to have some cream potatoes. Beautiful potatoes. With some crispy bacon, cheese, Got and some, some garlic bread. Grilled green onions, grilled green garlic bread. Hey, we're going to make your holidays brighter, but you got to tune in because Grilling with the Guru starts right now! Woo! Welcome back to the show. Kurt. Merry Christmas! It's the season. Yeah. So you had a good Thanksgiving? Yeah, wonderful. How about yours? Great, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of family, a yeah, lot of yeah. food. Yeah, oh, a lot of food. Too, too much food. Too much food. It's all too good. Much food. We but so, we're gonna, we're we're so gonna bring this one back to Christmas. Yeah! Something that's gonna be a beautiful presentation on the table. Yes. Feed a lot of people for not a lot of money. That's correct. Because yeah. we're gonna use we're gonna use the right kind of proteins, we're that's gonna right. treat them the right way. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's going to be really good. It's going to be a little bit non-traditional for a Christmas meal, but still right at home. We're not doing anything crazy. We're doing pork loin. Yeah, so you, I mean, you could almost like, if, if a lot of people bring in like main dishes, this yeah. could be a nice little sweet little appetizer. Like, you know, just a little that's, something, something. That's right. Or you could treat it as a main course. You could. Or, it, look, you always have a lot of family coming over. And this would be a great supper for a bunch of and people. And if your family's like my family, and I know it's like your family, everybody can cook really good. So yeah, so you got to bring it. You got to bring it. So we got to bring it. We got to thank our sponsors. Can we? We better. We have to. <laughs> courtesy, courtesy Motors and Brobridge. Go to courtesybb.com. Wow. And pick yours out. Yeah. The selection is fantastic. They have special financing available. They have any color you want. Not only can you put it on, you can't put it on the Christmas tree, but you can carry a Christmas tree with some of the I trucks. guarantee you they'll put one of them big, gigantic bows on the car yeah, if will. you want yeah, them to. Yeah, they'll do that. They'll do whatever. Go no, call yeah. April and them. Go, April, go visit them. She's a marketing genius. Yes, yeah, she is. She's been <laughs> having her commercials. Mm -hmm. uh, go to courtesybb.com and, and Earl's. Out. We got to call. Thank Earl's. Earl's Cajun Market on Verat School Road. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Tammy, Larry, his beautiful wife over there. I'll tell you, it's a joy to go over there because not only uh, do they have a beautiful store. Yeah. They got great plate lunches on the, uh, I think every day of the week, but one day. But they have a tremendous butcher selection. I mean, they, they, and if, they, if you don't like, this wasn't in the meat counter? No. I said, hey, come see. I said, I need a pork loin. He said, let me go check. They come out, beautiful pork loin. They, they'll take care of you. And they'll that, take care and of you. And that boudin. Oh, that boudin, I'm telling and you. And sausage, I mean, sleep. fresh pork oh, yeah. sausage, oh, yeah. every kind of way you can it's imagine. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, go, go, to to Earl's. On, yeah. go to Earl's. Go to Earl's. Go to Earl's. Gilbert's Greatest Foods, making up Louisiana love. Which you can find at look, Earl's. We even, look, they even put red caps on them for the holidays. No, they, oh. they always got red caps. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can go get you a bow. Jennifer's wrapping the presents inside. Put a little bow on. Yeah. We'll do it at the end of the show. Get yourself some because Louisiana I'm telling love. You, yeah, what a great stocking stuff. Absolutely. Man. You're get looking your, for some. Don't buy one. Get about, about 12 or so like that. Get, hey, look, put them all in your stock. Get them out of the gifts. Co-workers, employees, whatever. Give the gifts of great flavor. That's right. it. And, get of course, there. the Gidrick Company is on Wilson. Uh, go yeah. go see Greg and them for patio yeah. furniture, any fabrication needs. Gaz logs, gas logs, gas logs right now. It is the season. That's right. That's and look, right. I think we're going to have a pretty good winter. And it doesn't, look, it doesn't have to be cold for you. If it's any indication of how many acorns fell off them <laughs> oak trees, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> Woo! So, hey, thanks a lot for supporting all of our yeah. sponsors. We really appreciate it. Yeah. So, listen, we're going to take a little break. We're going to throw it the break. We're going to talk about this when we come back. Yeah. So. We're going we're gonna to clean it up, and we're going to start to cook it. So, come back and visit. We should have got some eggnog. It's not too late. <laughs> <laughs> Grilling with the Guru. 
Oh, look your presents right there. Fa la 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 la. Hey, thanks for coming back. Yep. So we're doing pork loin stuffed with spinach, roasted pecans, cream cheese, cream cheese, uh, mushrooms, garlic, garlic. Okay. So good speaking stuff. of mushrooms, Keith was at Earl's earlier today doing some shopping and he picked mm. up some pre-sliced mushrooms, which right. is fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's right. But if you get them in there like this size right here, like platter size, yeah. just chop them up. Okay? Dice them up a little. Yeah, bit. just look, nothing, nothing crazy, crazy. Just chop them up a little bit, and then that way when they cook down, it'll be a little bit more manageable for stuffing, which is what we're doing today's pork loin. Right. So look, I'm gonna be doing, I'll show you how to do that basket weed, but this is kind of like what we're laying out. We're gonna roll that. So I want it as wider or a little bit wider than my pork loin. So that's right. We got, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. Actually, it's gonna be eight. So look, these were a little shorter than the, the horizontal ones. And you wanna stretch them out. You, you don't have to like, if you pull on it, it's gonna break. You just kind of mash it a little bit. Yeah. And just kind of let the gravity pull it down and then it stretches it. Boom, it's perfect. So this is how we do it, guys. You come off, come off of here. You wanna lay your, your, your ones at the bottom first. And then you start off with the one. You go under, over, under, over, under, and over. And then the next one, a little bit tricky because you got to start from the other end. So come out, watch this. So this one, we're going to go over. We're going to pull this, go under, lay that down, over, under, over, under, like that. It's like macrame. Macrame. I think so. Something uh, maybe like that. Not. I don't know. And you just keep repeating the process, guys. Again, you're going to go under the first one. So under, over, under, over, under, over, and under again. Speaking of the Saints game, what's the under and over? <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt was like, so how are the Saints? <laughs> you don't want to you don't want to know. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Playoffs! <laughs> Playoffs! <laughs> Next question. Pull a please. Jim Moore on y'all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, uh, so what we're gonna be doing with them potatoes, bro? So we have the potatoes on the grill right now. So listen, we're making creamed potatoes. You all know how to make creamed potatoes or mashed potatoes or whatever you want to call them. But there's a, a few ways you can cook. You can boil them, that's fine. We're gonna, ro we're roasting them. But this is a grilling show. This is a grilling show. So we're roasting them, AKA baking them in on the Cajun grill. And what does, that actually does have an advantage. If you're gonna boil them, boil them with the skin off. Ball them whole. Yes, it's going to take longer. Why? Because it Why? keeps the water from getting in and waterlogging the potatoes. You want potatoes to be dry and fluffy when you make cream potatoes so they can suck up all the butter and cream. We're gonna That's right. Them. <laughs> all that nasty stuff. All, all that, they, we're going to call them, don't, call the, don't tell the doctor <laughs> potatoes. Don't, don't invite, if, you're, if you're general uh, GP's coming home for supper, don't serve him that. Well, he'd be, probably, be, you know, he'd probably be the first one to dive, so. dive into it. So try a dry cooking method. Microwave would even be fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but boiling for this particular purpose, if, you're not, if you don't take them out in the right amount of time, you let them sit, they'll get waterlogged and they get super nasty. And now you're having to fight with, you're going to end up with soupy potatoes, which if you're making potato soup, is fine. We're just not making I, potato soup. I can't stand soupy potatoes. No. Hey, but I do like soupy sales. Oh, you know, I they, love that dude. You remember that dude? <laughs> that was a good comedian. <laughs> he was funny. A little raunchy, but we like raunchy. Back to the 70s. Hey, look. So, look. You got it. your basket weave. And then we're going to take, can you rip off one of them, uh, them uh, bows on your on I your can. Spine? I need some of you. You need some sea swimming? I need some love, bro. Some sea swimming? Oh. I'm saying that's a good bow. I'm telling you. That's, that's what I'm saying. Thing. That's where they're going to end up tonight. All right. So look, and I you just want to pre-season, you want to sprinkle a little bit of your seasoning, you love, get a nice little coating, because as it cooks, we're going we're gonna to season the loin too on the outside, but. Oh yeah, and, they, and on the inside. And on the inside. Season every layer, every layer, so okay? That's, that right there is ready to go. Uh, and so yeah, we're going to take our loin, and we're going to split it up. We're going to do that when we come back, because yeah. there's two, there's two techniques of, of butterflying or filleting this 
for what we're going to use it for. And I want to show you both. We're going to do one, but we'll show you both of them. Right. But there's one of them that it's a little bit easier and it gives more predictable results and you don't have to worry about the shape of it too much and you don't have to have fantastic knife skills. Right. So that's the one we're going to concentrate on. That's right. But for right now, we have our mushrooms, sauteing with our, uh, cooking with our onions. Okay. Let me show you real quick. We got some bacon on the grill. We got our potatoes on the grill. That bacon is going to go in the mashed potatoes, but maybe not all of them. <laughs> I, I, I promise you, not all of them. <laughs> he, he keeps it. He said, we, go, we, we want some uh, bacon for the potatoes. I said, well, you don't have to call us potatoes, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato. We all know what we're talking about. That's right. We're going to add the spinach and a little bit of white wine to, mm. our, uh, to our mushroom and, uh, mixture. And this garlic I'm chopping up cream. right now. A little, cream, gonna, that a little, 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 bit, of, little bit of cream cheese. We're going to use the, the cream, cream cheese. cheese. So, look, it's going to be all kind of lovely. Come on back and see us, and we're going to keep it. doing what we're doing. Well, that's because what we do is what we do. And it's Merry on, Christmas. on the grill. See you in a couple minutes. You're a mean one, <laughs> Mr. Grinch. <laughs> hey, guys, look, we're going to bring back your little quick spot right here. Kurt's going to show you how to, how to butterfly that little... Yeah, Pumped so along. there's two ways we can do this, right? So you can come on the side and you can cut about the third like this, and unfold it, and then the third and unfold it. There's nothing really wrong with that except you got to have pretty, pretty good knife skills mm -hmm. and there's not a whole lot of room for error. Better way, for, in my opinion, you just split it down the middle, not all the way through, okay? And then cut little grooves in it. And then you... You do it again. You score it. You come right here at a 45. This is a tenon, so be careful when you're pushing with the knife. Don't push too hard. And you see this is going to open just like that. And, and a, a good sharp knife really does uh, yes. work a lot better. And if you, if you want it, you could continue. You could do it again. And this would open up. And here. And that's it. See? It's open. Say two. Now you could come with a, a mallet if you want it. You could pound this out to make it more uniform. There's really no need to do that. Or you can just use your hand. Bang, 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 bang. You can beat it up. Beat it up. Beat it up. <laughs> Give it the knuckles. <laughs> Give it a knuckle treat. I'm like curly. <laughs> okay. And that's it. So cook time on this is going to be about 45 minutes. Yeah, because look, guys, we just, we just, feel, I mean, this is what you're cooking now. You're not right. cooking a whole chunk. That's, that's you're right. You're getting that temperature like this. You're getting it on the outside. Now it's gonna. We're gonna roll it up, but still, you're gonna have, you're gonna have some uh, area. The the filling is not meat, so it's not gonna take nearly as long to cook that. And all the all the innards that we're putting, all the filling. That's right. It's already pre-cooked. That's right. So, thermometer, 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 thermometer. Uh, we got Get a that. good we meat thermometer that. because that. that's what's gonna make the difference. Yeah, we got Once it. everything's in, we're gonna roll it up. We're gonna wrap it up in the in the uh, in the basket we're baking. And on the cold side, the pit is going to go yep. and get lovely. So let's go ahead and throw it to break. Yeah, and then and when the, you come back, this is going to be on, and we're going to... We're going to start, yeah. We're going to start the potato project. Oh, we got to do the potatoes. See you in a couple minutes, guys. Come on back. I gotta lean that so you can see that. And watch, let me. I'm gonna show you something. This. Show them that cheesy bread. Cover the cover the kids' eyes. Oh, what are you kidding me with this? Oh, <laughs> oh my! Come on! Come on now! Come on! Okay, so let's recap. Yeah, yeah. So we we you, we we grilled the potatoes. Yeah. Got them to a nice softness. Right. Took them off. Yep. You cored them out. Yep. Put in a mixing bowl and you added what? Butter. Uh, Louisiana Love seasoning, cheese, cheese. cream, cream, uh, and, uh, and grilled onion, and grilled green onions. Then we mixed it all together, tasted it, make sure it was seasoned. <laughs> Put it back in there. Uh, we tasted it because we were hungry and we were waiting on that pork loin. <laughs> That's too. You be messing up our, our, our mo here. I know. Uh, uh, put them, and we put them back in the uh, in the skins, and then we put them on on a pan put them back on the grill to bring them back up to temp, 
And we're going to, they're not quite done yet. We're hoping to get a little bit of browning on here. But yeah. everything, you can eat it right now. It's ready oh, to go. Oh, yeah, it was done in that bowl. Yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it so was. So this is kind of like a version of twice baked potato. It's exactly what it is, except except we added some uh, nice grilled green onions to it and some crispy bacon. Oh, yeah, we I did. I forgot about the bacon. Yeah, the bacon. bacon. How can you forget about the bacon? That bacon from Earl, they smoke it themselves. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, thick, it's, it's in-house. Thick like that. In-house bacon. Oh, never mind. I'm glad you, thank you for uh, saying thick bacon. I wanted to. Is this a knowledge bacon. bomb? This is going to be a knowledge bomb. Charlie Pritchard knowledge Charlie, bomb. Charlie, pay attention, baby. Coming at you. Okay, normally when you do a basket weave, yeah. you want to go with a thinner cut bacon because what you're cooking normally is in this size, yeah. and you want the bacon to crisp before you reach your target temperature. That's right. But because we're doing a stuffed pork tenderloin, and we're going to take it to about 140 degrees. Yeah, pork loin. Pork loin. I'm yeah. sorry, not no, tenderloin, no. pork yeah, exactly. loin. Yeah. We want, you could use a thicker cut bacon because you have a longer cook time, and you get more bacon flavor. It's pretty awesome, bro. <laughs> come God, come in. You don't believe us? Come in. Come yeah, y'all, got, y'all got to come look at this. Come on, holy guacamole. Look at that, how beautiful. Kidding me? So, look, we're going to just this thing. show you real quick what, what temperature we at. So, right in the middle, we're about 125, which is a good, a medium rare. Yeah. But we, t- our, our target we're looking at is about 135. One, 135, and we'll let it carry to about 140. That's right. Uh, and everything's cooked. We just want to make sure that we have a good. I don't want it to be too runny. No. I want everything to be set. So, so if you cook this to 135 and you pull it, let it sit five minutes, it'll carry you the rest of the way. So in there we have the mushrooms. We got the spinach. We got cream onions, cheese. We got onion. Garlic. Seasoning. We ain't putting no bacon on the inside. It's all on the outside. It's all on the outside. Yeah. And a little bit of white wine to the glaze. The, the filling is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it so, make a hell of a dip. Yes, it boy. Talk about. Matter yeah. of fact, we had some little breads out here. Yeah, about. we did. We ain't got no little breads. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> so yeah. that's the deal. So let's, let's go ahead and throw it the break and then the last segment. Bro. I love so I'm a great time. Yeah. And we and we got we got a lot of time, but we got a lot of people to uh, we got a lot of people to thank. Yeah. And we gotta talk about our sponsors again. We're gonna go back over this beautiful Christmas menu. So come back and see us in a couple minutes. And look, back on the grill you go. That's where it's gone. Yeah. See you in a little while. Yeah, you'll go back. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Kurt. Beautiful. Listen. The smell is amazing. I don't, I don't know how else to say Merry Christmas, but Merry man. Christmas. So this, look, this is our Christmas meal. A little unconventional, but oh so good. Delicious. So we got us a nice big pork loin. Not tenderloin, pork loin. Pork loin. Right? And, and the word big is is an understatement. Yeah, yeah, Look yeah. Look how swollen that thing that is. That thing is a monster. It's a beautiful thing. So we but, we uh, we butterflied it. We showed you a couple different techniques for doing that. That's right. And then we made us <laughs> just a little light filling. <laughs> we, uh, we got uh, some mushrooms, some spinach, uh, a little bit of Onion, olive oil, garlic, onions, garlic, cream, some cream cheese. Mm. Uh, some mm. Louisiana Love seasoning. It's all in there. We let it get nice and bubbly and luscious. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, sure. So, so somebody looking and said, man, that, that thing is... Sh-. Now, this wasn't the whole loin, though. No. This is like about uh, a little bit more, about half of a loin. Right. So if somebody is like, man, that's just too much. Could you, I mean, besides the tenderloin, which right. would be amazing. Right. Could you, like, take a, a loin and just, like, cut it in half Absolutely. and then do the same thing we did? Sure. It would be, like, half the size of this? Yes, you could. You could do it either way. You could you could cut it lengthways and have two halves like this, so you could split it right down the middle and then take one of those halves and section and it off. And butterfly. Yeah, so you could do it either way. It's that big of a piece of meat. It's huge. <laughs> so, I mean, this right here could feed you and me at least. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Breakfast is coming up. Oh, yeah. Another thing you <laughs> can I mean, do. No. Another thing you can do is cut it this way and just have a smaller. You could. You know, so you that, that you could section it up a lot of ways. We did the whole thing because we're thinking of a family style. It is. Uh, but you don't have to do all this. I but, mean, but you could feed you know, 12, 14 people 
Easy. Oh, Lord, yeah, yeah, and they'll be full a lot. So let's tell them about the twice big potatoes. So we got, yeah, so we did, we did some nice creamy potatoes. We put the potatoes on the, on the, uh, on the Cajun Which grill. Which gave it a tremendous smoky flavor. It's just so good. Oh, my I mean, you gosh. Don't, you're not going to want to do them any other way. Oh, no. And we recommended that you do a dry cooking method like roasting or grilling versus boiling because it controls the amount of water the potatoes are going to absorb, which makes getting to this part a whole lot easier. And when we scooped them out and put them in the thing, it was still real moist. Absolutely. I mean, it was still moist. And then, then fluffy. We add, and then we added the, <laughs> the butter. And the whipping cream. And the whipping cream. <laughs> and cheese. And grilled green onions. Yeah, that's so what you that, see right here, So guys. that's going to be the game changer that's for you. That's the flavor. Gr you take green onions, you coat them with a little bit of oil, you put them on the grill till they get a little bit of color, and they will. Yeah, and they will. You're not, you're not like, grilling them. You're no, just, no. You're just smoking you just, them you're lightly. You're just smoking them lightly and yeah. making them, making them wilt. And then, of course, we've got some nice crispy bacon that we got from Earl's Cajun Market that's Which, made in-house. I mean, that's, look at it. I mean, look at it. Yeah, and they, they smoke it, and, and then they cut it. Tick, tick, tick like tick that. Tick like that. Yeah. And then, uh, this is a, we did a basket weave with that same bacon because we can. Well, and, it, I mean, look at the presentation. Yeah. When and, you want to. And then we topped it off with some beautiful roasted pecans that you can either incorporate into the filling or put them on top and by themselves were just delicious and that's really a, the, the the reason to put them just on top they maintain their crunch mm. they don't get lost in, in that in that filling and they don't get soft we got some people we need to thank a lot of people we got to thank courtesy motors of bro bridge they've been a wonderful sponsor for us all year we how could, long how long have you been about four years at least at least four years yeah oh yeah yeah, but so we must, every year. I think they love us just as much as we love them, though. Well, look, they ain't cut us loose yet. They ain't cut us loose yet. Which I'm happy about. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, look, it, it really, when we, when we ask y'all if y'all go to one of the places we mentioned, tell us, it means a lot to us because it shows, it's hard to, tra to track advertising. This is a way for them to say, hey, guess what? Somebody's watching. Right, that. The guru said to go see April. Go see April and, yeah. and they, everybody in the mud man. Go see uh, T with Garrett down there. <laughs> that, the yeah, mud that, man. Dude, that dude's crazy. That yeah. dude's crazy. I've been watching him on Facebook. I think he's a little. A little talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <laughs> Uh, we got to thank Earl's, Earl's Cajun Market. Earl's, what I mean, a great partner they've been. I mean, oh, yeah. there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and every, look, every week, week after week, they're giving it, you know, they're giving us I mean, the we, goods. We got the duck. We got, I mean, everything. We that, got everything. And, and smoke you, sausage. Yeah, oh, I guarantee sausage. if you go in there and you ask them for something, whether it's in the produce or whether it's in the meat counter or whatever, and they don't have it, I guarantee you they're going to get it. You talk to Timmy, talk to Larry, talk to one of them. They're going to get it next time you, you, yep. you ask for it. Gilroy's, uh, Gilroy's greatest foods makers of Louisiana love. Ooh, we love, we love being able to help out. You know, I mean, it's 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 a, a partnership made in heaven. We we really appreciate it. And of course, the Gidrick companies on Wilson uh, been around for I don't know seventy dinosaurs. Yeah, since the dinosaurs were babies. <laughs> so, uh, and look, we got to think. We got to thank Matt. Oh and, yeah. And we and we have to thank uh, our network, Delta Media. For letting us bring this show to you, we really it I really think means Matt the world wants to, to thank us. us for feeding his wife. <laughs> well, hey, he does a pretty good job stepping up his game. Stepping up his that's oh, right. Yeah. We push we him. We make him want to be a better man. So, <laughs> so listen, we, we all got to eat. Time. We got to <laughs> try a little bit of this and that and this Ooh. and that. Oh, man, I hadn't cheated. I hadn't cheated on this. I haven't tasted any of this. And people want to taste something yet. wrong with you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> A moment, please. The smoke. You can't get that in your house. No. Well, if, no. You, if you do, your house is on fire. <laughs> Call the department. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Grown with the Guru. Merry Christmas. We love y'all. And a happy new year. We will see you in 2024. That sounds weird. Love you. But it's true.